Now really, an object weighing billions of times the mass of our Sun must be easy to find, right? Wrong. Unfortunately, it might not be that simple. Like in the case with a missing black hole. But let's travel to the galaxy cluster Abel 2261, hosting a supermassive black hole at its center. Or at least, that's where it's supposed to be. The main problem is this giant space phenomenon is nowhere to be found. Now, supermassive black holes are mega monsters, churning slowly at the center of their home galaxies. They gather tremendous clouds of gas and dust around them, which makes them swell up to sizes the human mind can't begin to imagine. If a supermassive black hole, like the one that dwells at the center of our home Milky Way galaxy, moved even a little bit closer to our solar system, we'd be doomed. The distance between this huge thing and Earth could be several dozens of light years, and still, it would wreak havoc on our planet. Earth, along with other things making up the solar system, would be tugged into the black hole's orbit and doomed to spin around it for eternity or longer. Hey, who knows, right? So, it's good that such black holes stay away from us at the moment. So, let's see what happened to that runaway supermassive black hole from that gigantic cluster of galaxies around 2.7 billion years away from our planet. Scientists have been looking for it with the help of NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and Hubble Space Telescope. But so far, no result. The main problem with finding a black hole is that it's, uh, well, black. And space is, you guessed it, black too. So there's no contrast whatsoever that could help astronomers spot the hole. But scientists haven't given up yet. After all, they have a lot of other technologies to find black holes, small and big, in the vastness of space. Some of these methods involve watching the stars orbiting black holes. Sometimes, it's a fake gravitational wave signal, which is produced when two black holes collide. But the most reliable technique is watching dust and gas falling to their doom. The thing is, black holes are space objects with insane gravity. So, regions of space surrounding them are usually a bit chaotic, gas and dust getting pulled into the bottomless abyss, compressing and heating up. In the process, it releases a flood of X-ray radiation. So, astronomers look for extremely bright X-ray sources in the universe. Chances are, those are the last gasps of giant clumps of material before they disappear into a black hole. Then, why can't scientists find such X-ray signatures left by the black hole in Abel 2261? One of the most mysterious things about its disappearance is that radio telescopes have spotted some signs of massive plumes of superheated material launched at one point within the last 50 million years. These plumes were most likely caused by a large black hole, which is nowhere to be found these days. So, at the moment, we can only play a guessing game. Maybe two medium-sized black holes collided, pushing the newly merged giant out of the center of the galaxy. The observations of the stars in that galaxy have shown a clump of dense material a few thousand light-years away from the galaxy's core. Maybe it's the runaway black hole. But disappointingly, no X-ray signals are coming from that clump. Or the hole might still be there in its rightful place. But it's, you know, slumbering. If it doesn't get a fresh supply of gas and dust, it has nothing to feed on. As a result, it can't release a flood of X-rays. But again, the answer, do not disturb, the black hole is sleeping now, isn't very satisfying. Why isn't it getting its space food? What happened 50 million years ago? What is that clump of material speeding away from the galaxy center? So many questions, and no answers so far. At least, we know what black holes look like. Well, kinda. It's actually the shadow of a black hole's event horizon, visible against the glowing superheated material falling inside the hole. The first ever mugshot of a black hole appeared in 2019, but the data for its creation was collected in 2017. It took an international team, consisting of more than 200 astronomers, two years to assemble the image. We can admire this amazing space phenomenon thanks to a vast global network of telescopes called the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration, or simply EHT. Why such a name? The thing is that the event horizon is a point of no return on the outskirts of a black hole. When something, for example, matter, radiation, or light, reaches this boundary, 
there is no way for it to escape the black hole's clutches. Anyway, to capture that very first image of a black hole, scientists created a virtual telescope that turned out as big as our planet by combining the power of eight powerful radio telescopes. But it wasn't an easy feat. The researchers had to simultaneously point the telescopes in a meticulously planned order with the help of precise atomic clocks set on each telescope. Plus, to keep the chances of rain and bad weather to a minimum, they even constructed the telescopes in super dry regions, such as the Atacama Desert in Chile and the South Pole. On each observation day, the telescope gathers roughly 350 terabytes of data. That's 10 times the amount of data collected every day at the Large Hadron Collider. But let's speak more about black holes themselves. There are stellar black holes, smaller but even more dangerous than their supermassive peers. They appear when stars that have run out of their star food fall into themselves. If a star used to be big enough, it keeps compressing and compressing some more, and voila! A baby stellar black hole is born. But even if I call such a hole a small one, it's still five to several tens of times heavier than the Sun. Unlike their massive siblings, hypothetical mini black holes could be really tiny, not bigger than an atom. Even so, just one minuscule thing would have the mass of a thousand SUVs. One theory claims tons of micro black holes could have been created right after the Big Bang and the beginning of the universe. Some scientists even go as far as to say that a couple mini black holes pass through our planet every day. There is a supermassive black hole smack dab in the middle of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Its name is Sagittarius A star, and it's 4.3 million times as heavy as the Sun. And nope, we aren't going to be pulled into this hole. It's more than 26,000 light years from Earth, too far to have any influence on our planet. By the way, recently, astronomers have discovered that this supermassive black hole might be leaking. If it's true, it probably means that Sagittarius A star isn't a sleeping giant, as previously thought. It might still be active. And the leakage recorded by scientists may be the hole hiccuping while swallowing clouds of gas. Maybe we should burp this baby? If you ever find yourself near a black hole, hmm get ready that time will significantly slow down. It may work for you if you aren't eager to grow older. Just don't let yourself be tugged beyond the point of no return. Another danger of hanging around a black hole is that it might start behaving like a massive galactic volcano. From time to time, black holes flare up, but instead of spewing lava, they produce enormous amounts of energy, and it makes gaping holes in the surrounding material and gas. A short time ago, scientists discovered one of the largest craters in the universe. Radio and X-ray telescopes detected a supermassive black hole that threw a temper tantrum many, many years ago. It happened in a galaxy cluster about 390 million light-years away from Earth. The crater left behind, which was actually a hole punched in the cluster's hot gas, could fit 15 Milky Way galaxies. Okay, mind blown, I'm out of here. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.